My friends of the Academy of the Sacred Heart, I'm Monsignor John Zenz. I think most of you know my face very well. For about 35 years, I've been the regular priest for almost all the masses. And Mr. Damien Herman asked me if I would offer a few reflections during this time when there is so much uncertainty and where we miss the opportunity to be together as the community of the Academy of the Sacred Heart family. And so I'd like to use the image that is on most of the stationery and on so many uh, logos and things and pins that people wear and even the stole that I usually wear for mass. The symbol of the whole world within the sacred heart of Jesus Christ. That is a very important perspective for us to keep in mind during these uncertain times. We, all of us, the whole world is held within God. We think of God as sometimes out there, far away from us, looking down once in a while. We try to get his attention, but rather we could think of it the opposite way. We are always held in the womb of God, in the embrace of God. And whatever is going on in the world, God surrounds it and God understands it. And God feels the same tensions and pressure and struggle that we are going through we are held in his loving hands. And notice that the image of the Sacred Heart is open-ended. The heart is open even to mysteries beyond what we could know. God is always greater. We need that perspective. It is wonderful for us to recognize that we are a part of a network of Sacred Heart schools throughout the world. And everyone in every part of the world at this point is going through something about the coronavirus and we're all living with the uncertainty but we have to remember we're not alone we are connected by the common goals and criteria we are connected by the beautiful painting of mater we are connected above all by our prayers and by our conviction that we are in permanent communion with the lord even if we can't receive communion physically the lord is holding us and we are resting in his love. That's how we should think when we pray. And remember when we pray, others are praying for us even as we remember them. And it's, as much as possible, it is good to be specific in our prayers and think of all the people who have been helpful for us, people in our classes, people that are teachers, people that have gone before us, our grandparents and parents and brothers and sisters, and all the people who make us who we are. It is a beautiful thing to be part of the worldwide Catholic communion of faith. It is a great blessing to be part of the network of the uh, schools of the Sacred Heart. As we think about all this, we might also look to an image that I saw recently in our Sacred Heart magazine, which is uh, about how the provincials and delegates from around the world gathered in Cuba recently, and they made this image on the floor of, of the room where they were gathering, the image of the world within the heart, and everyone brought gifts from her respective community or from the country where she was ministering. And all of those gifts are placed within the heart of Christ. If we could think about our prayer is one little way of being joined to this larger dynamic mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus. And finally, maybe from time to time, a good way to pray is to do what Sister Corrine, IHM, taught me when I was in first grade. Put your hand over your heart and listen to your heartbeat. And as your heart beats and you feel the blood rushing, make that a prayer and think of the heart of God pulsing within all of us and drawing and calling all of us to eternal communion of life and love. We are indeed the world held in the sacred heart.